Hello? Hello? Are we back? Is there weather? No, there's not. Weather's not real. Weather doesn't exist. Nobody even gets to see the sun anymore, especially if you live in central Wisconsin. But for real, there is a light at the end of the tunnel as far as this lame, boring weather goes. And that is it. We are finally getting rid of El Nino. Yay. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the f*** is an El Nino and why should I care? And what does that even have to do about weather? Basically, unless you live in the southern United States, all El Nino does is make sure that you have seasonal depression because it's just going to be dark and gloomy outside but there's not going to snow and nothing's going to happen. And El Nino is characterized by warmer than average temperatures in the tropical Pacific Ocean and allows the Pacific jet stream to slip straight into the southern U.S. and bring higher than average precipitation chances for them only. The polar jet stream gets banished to the land of maple syrup and for the rest of us in the central and northern United States, we're left with nothing besides mild Pacific air. I don't know about you guys, but personally here in Wisconsin, I'm pretty much beginning to forget what snow even is. Isn't it fun right now? No, it's not. Aren't we ready for this to go away? Yes, yes we are. Well, we're in luck because it looks like we're finally starting to transition into an endo neutral phase, which means that we will have neither an El Nino or a La Nina, and that will eventually become a La Nina by this summer. And with that, let's talk about what the weather is going to look like in this spring and summer when we finally see this transition into La Nina begin. Now, El Nino means warm water. What's the opposite of warm water? Cold water. That's what La Nina is. Great, that's cool. Cold water. Why the hell do we care about cold water? When the water over here is cooler, it causes the polar jet stream and the tropical jet stream to affect effectively reorganize themselves. When this happens, it can either inhibit or fuel severe weather in the U.S. Specifically with La Nina, we see big impacts in three main regions, flooding, hurricanes, and tornadoes. Starting off with flooding, or should I say the drought? Yes, unfortunately, what La Nina means is a lot of the country will experience lower than average rainfall rate. And even though there's been a lot of drought busting events recently, it does look like we're going to go back into another period where this drought will be occurring and strengthening. With the tropical jet stream further south there's just no tropical moisture to fall and we're just stuck with cool dry air the next factor is hurricanes la nina is known to increase hurricane activity in the atlantic because less wind shear from the jet stream will make the environment more favorable for the development of massive hurricanes finally most interesting of all tornadoes now in a typical la nina year we have more warm moist air in the southern united states what this does is this massive influx of warm moist air will battle with that cold pacific air and lead to more tornadoes so so, in my personal opinion, this upcoming spring and summer is going to be more active than we have seen in the years past, and the models are already starting to agree with me on this. Taking a look at a few early climatological models here, we can see that they're indicating that there may be an above chance for severe weather activity across many areas of the United States. And personally, I've talked to these models, and the model said that the best way to stay up to date on severe weather is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Yeah, it's not a Mr. Dibble video unless we have at least one shameless plug. All right, well, before we wrap this video up this weekend, my video editor and I are going to be in Texas at the National Storm Chaser Summit. If you are going to be there and you want to meet up with either one of us, follow me on my Twitter. I'm going to be posting updates about what I'm doing, where I'm at on there. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're planning quite a few comedic videos while we're going to be at the Storm Chaser summit and there's gonna be a lot of faces and other people in those videos that you probably know from around the community so make sure to go ahead and subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on that all right well that pretty much does it for this video guys bye